Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. Thank you guys so much for anyone coming back to the channel and thank you so much for the support. And whoever is brand new, I welcome you. Why does that sound weird? But welcome to the channel, you guys. Today's video is going to be all about Capital, and that's Capital with a K. One of my favorite brands of all time. They are from Japan. I have two pickups to show you guys, and I would love to share why I love Capital so very much. Now before I show you the two pieces that I picked up from Capital, I did just want to share why I like Capital so much for those of you who don't know, like, who don't know what Capital is. So Capital has been really, really, really popular lately, and I very highly suggest watching this one YouTube video that is an hour long, but it is a documentary on the inner workings of Capital and how they basically shoot their lookbooks. It is, it looks like so much fun, and I'll put it down in the description below. It's called Capital World. It is such a good watch uh, for those of you who want to learn a little bit more. But what I love about Capital is the organicness of their clothing that also translates into their actual clothing. So their lookbooks are so genuine and the photographer has so much input uh, as well as the head of their brand. His name is Kiro Hirata and he is truly, truly, truly masterful at his craft and respects the input from the photographer which is just mind-blowing to me because I know a lot of people can just want to take charge of an entire project and just like micromanage the entire thing. But instead of, instead of looking like a very much a necessary business photo shoot, it looks like a genuine and in, genuine and fun like time for them. And it just looks so fun because it, the way that they do it is so like nomadic in nature that they're literally just kind of like going through, they literally picked up a model from like randomly on a beach somewhere if I'm not mistaken, and just went out and took pictures in the most random of places, which I think is like, it literally looks like a bunch of people just going on like a trip. And it just looks so much fun. And that is truly why I love Capital. It doesn't follow any sort of fashion calendar and they spare no expense when creating their items and they have such a rich history that I love it so much. If you guys would be interested in a Capital history video, I'd be happy to do one for you. Uh, I'm thinking about doing one, but let me know if you'd be interested in that. And I personally identify not only with the clothing, but the overall attitude and the way that they execute their brand. That I'm simply proud to wear any piece that they produce. They really tick all the boxes for me. Uh, they are inspired by vintage. They have top-notch quality, top-notch creativity. They are paying homage to methods and concepts that are rooted in Japanese culture as well as American and a lot of other cultures as well. And just cap there's just not enough good things that I can say about Capital. But enough of me, enough of me rambling. Let's get into the two items that I have that I just got in. And so for those of you who don't know, I really, really, really dislike wearing tank tops by themselves. I don't like showing my arms. I don't like, I just don't like it. I don't know why. But the reason why I'm doing it in this video is because this is how I intend to wear this first piece, which is actually a blazer. I usually hate blazers too, but this blazer is absolutely beautiful. This is a patchwork blazer from Capital. Has a lot of different colors of patches. Surprisingly, it's extremely stretchy and I think it looks equally as classy as it does fun and like interesting. Uh, I definitely don't wear it like a normal blazer, so I'm not gonna like flip the lapel right here and just to kind of keep the collar. What I like to do is to actually put the collar up you just wear it like that. I, I'm a little too big to button it all the way up, but I think it actually looks great. But yeah, that is the Capital Hatchwork Blazer. You can definitely see it right there. And there's like multiple patches on here as well. It is super stretchy. I don't know what material it's made out of because everything is in Japanese. Look how wide these pants are. Look at these pants. It is so dope. Oh my goodness. But with how I was showing it to you earlier, 
it is an extremely wide pair of pants, but actually this portion folds over and the, it's not really a drawstring, but the strings fold, I mean, go around my waist and tie right here. So it looks like I'm kind of wearing an apron and it's so sick. Okay, but yeah, back to uh, basically showing it to you guys. These pants are super wide. Only one leg is very wide, just so that you can kind of fold it over, button it, and it be just a pair of pants that have what looks like an apron on one side. It has one really cool 3D pocket here. Um, this is a size large, although I think it could fit really whatever size. Here's the tag. Oh man, this is such a beautiful and interesting pair of pants. They're super light. Again, I don't know what it's actually made of just because it is in Japanese, so I'm not entirely sure how to read Japanese, but super, super interesting, super cool, really lightweight. So in the summer, it's not bad, uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to have these in. Hopefully I'll be able to get a fit on my Instagram uh, sometime soon, but yeah, the, uh, man, it is just so interesting to me that they planned this out to be worn like with that flap over and how it was constructed is so interesting just because they had to accommodate for that. That like the, the fact that they had to fold the rest of it over on yourself and then tie it. It looks really cool. I kind of feel like a chef in them. I mean, yeah, there's not too much to say to be honest with you. Other than that, those are really the full details of the pant itself, but yeah, oh, gosh, they're just so beautiful. Uh, I actually think that the blazer pairs quite well with the pants, although I don't think I'm going to be wearing them at the same time, but yeah, the blazer definitely gives me more of like a, I don't know why, but kind of like a, a, a newsboy type of like look. I need one of those like caps, a newsboy cap, and then the look is complete. But yeah, so capital. Love them. A lot of times people will know them for like their their bones denim as well as bones jackets. As uh, other than that, they also there's obviously century denim that I've shown you before. Um, they do really really good Boro and Sashiko stuff. The bandana shirts are some of the most popular. Honestly, it's just a very popular brand and surprisingly enough with a lot of like rappers as well that wear a lot of capital and yeah that i think that's really all i have to say yeah i think that's really all i have to say about capital so far if you want me to do a history video i'll definitely do one for you guys just let me know in the comments or through dm but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this one i hope you guys enjoyed it and like, comment, subscribe, do what you do, and until the next video, I will catch you guys later.